Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get data from Google Sheets and Microsoft Access and append them in the Power Query to create a pivot table report. Now, let's proceed. Now, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new upcoming videos. So, let's see our sample data in Google Sheets and Access to alt tab now this is our data in access we have this sys data for year 2017 so let's see the one in google sheet okay now this is the data from google sheet we have from 2013 to 2016 data now let's get this google sheet data into excel so what i'm going to do is come to this file and click on publish to the web so in here i'm going to just select this entire document which is fine and click on Microsoft Excel dot Excel SX. Okay, then I copy this URL. So let's go back to Excel. Now in Excel, come to the data tab of the ribbon under the get and transform data group. I'm gonna click on from web. Now from the web, I need to paste the URL in this box. So I'm gonna paste Control B and I click on OK. Now we have this navigator dialer box. So I'm gonna click on this sheets and then we can actually see our data this is the preview so you can actually decide to load to or transform now let's just click on transform data to be sure that the data types are accurate okay so our data is already imported into the power query editor so we have proper date data type let's just verify other ones so everything is looking fine so the next thing i'm going to do is click on this close and load tool so we are closing the power query now i'm not going to dump in the table i'm going to create a connection because i'm going to append the data coming from the access with the one coming from google sheets so therefore i'm going to click on only create connection and I click on OK. And then we have the queries and connection tax pane ready. So next one we'll go to this get data now from database and from Microsoft Access database. And I click on that. So I need to browse through the um, access folder or file. So it's in my pictures and I click on this sys data and then I will be able to point to the particular table. Actually, I have a single table in that access. Okay, so it's ready. And the name is sales data. I'm going to actually see the preview coming up in this window to the right. So let's see. All right, so it's this is the preview. So just click on transform data because we need to transform the date time data type to proper date data type before we can proceed to append with the one coming from Google Sheets. So this is what I want to do. Just transform this. Just click on this icon and choose date. Now, that's ready. So we have a proper date data type. Everything is looking fine. So we have these two queries. Now, what I'm going to do is to append this. So you can actually come to the home tab of the ribbon and append queries as new. Or you can even right click on this empty cell, empty space choose new query and then we want to combine and append as new so anyone that you want to choose is absolutely fine okay so because we have two tables so my first table is going to be the data which is coming from google sheets and the sales data which contains the 2017 records coming from access so i click on ok okay so we have this little challenge just click on continue and of course, I want, to, I want to ignore the privacy level checks for this file. Okay, so we have this append one. So we have combined the data coming from the Google Sheets and Access. And we have a single table. So I can just give a meaningful name. Let's just call it transaction underscore data. Okay, and I hit enter. And that's all I need to do. Finally, I click on close and load too. Now I'm actually closing because I want to create a pivot table. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to click on only create a connection for the last time and I click on OK because I don't want to load all the three tables. Okay, so everything is fine now. This is what I need. Trans is a name to rename this. 
all right then finally i can right click on this and choose load to now i want to load to people table report and then we are fine in this existing worksheet cell a1 click ok so we can proceed to create our pivot table report let me just minimize this okay now let's grab some field let me just grab the dates okay now we have these grouped you know dates we have the year followed by the quarter followed by the month okay now what i'm going to do is very simple let me just come over here okay i actually want to see only the year okay so i'm going to uncheck month and quarters and i leave the here okay then i grab the total and I drop this in the values so this is the total sales for each of the year so you can actually see that this is 2013 to 16 which is coming from google sheet and the 2017 coming from access so right click and choose number format so in the number format let's just apply a currency and let's take out the decimal places okay boom everything is absolutely ready okay now let's go and do some verification to see whether it's going to update in our pivot table if the data changes from the source data which are access and google sheet so let's come to access first now access as data for 2017 right so let me just increase this total from 66 to let's say 120,000. okay and i'm going to press save so close this okay you can actually see this is four three five let me just copy this and paste here now let's go ahead and refresh our table our people table report click on refresh and then i'm expecting this to change from four three five to the new value all right so can you actually see that it's update automatically after we click on refresh because the data coming from access has changed so this is cool now let's do the same thing for google sheets so i'm going to come here and just close this and let's increase this value for 2013 so let's say um 100 000. okay and i click on enter so let me just click on save and then let's go back to excel and refresh 2013 so i'm expecting this to change I'm just copy and paste here then let's right click and choose refresh and let's see whether it's going to update or not absolutely wonderful so it also updates because the source data google sheet has been changed okay so you can actually see that even when you connect from google sheet and access and you create a pivot table report and if any value changes from the source data it will automatically change upon clicking a refresh in your pivot table so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do and you've learned how to connect from data source from google sheet and access please give some thumbs up share this video with your people and subscribe to my youtube channel because there is a lot to come thank you and bye for now